Hello everyone, I'm Bill Maguire. I'm Professor Emeritus of Geophysical and Climate Hazards at UCL and author of Hot House Earth and Inhabitants Guide. Hello, I'm Rupert Reed. I'm the co-director of the Climate Majority Project and author of Parents for a Future, How Loving Our Children Can Prevent Climate Collapse. Hello, my name's Vicky Hurd. I'm the strategic lead on agriculture at the Wildlife Trusts. Hi, I'm Charlie Gardner and I'm signing up to Scientists for Global Responsibilities' new Fair Lifestyles Targets initiative, which I think is a really great framework to help us start thinking through how we can reduce our own emissions as individuals so that they're more closely aligned with um, meeting our global climate targets and staying within 1.5 degrees. In global heating, humanity is facing an existential threat. As far as we know, in the 4.6 billion year history of our planet, the temperatures never climbed as rapidly as it is at the moment. Just think about that for a minute. So it's desperately urgent that world leaders and governments act now to slash emissions. But there's plenty we can do as individuals and families too which is why I'm signing up to the SGR's Fair Lifestyle Targets. A set of targets which you can do in your own life is absolutely critical. Things you can do are important, they'll make a difference. One way they'll make a difference is by actually showing other people, your friends, your family, your colleagues, what you can do. It helps if we do walk the talk. So here's a couple of the things that I'm trying to do. Grow as much of our own food as we can in a biodiversity friendly way. We've recently finally installed solar panels and with the help of a government grant, an air source heat pump. I gave up flying four years ago, a decision that I don't regret. We are saying it's an emergency. We have to act like it's an emergency. And that starts with making the changes ourselves that we say are needed in society. We've been saying for a long time that we need to massively reduce global aviation, that we need to massively reduce global energy use, that we need to massively reduce global meat consumption. But what sort of crazy signal does it send when the scientists who've been saying this are themselves flying and themselves eating beef at their conferences? The thing is, the future is looking grim but if we want to prevent it becoming cataclysmic, then we all have to do our bit. We're trying to do ours now, and I urge you, for the sake of everyone's children and their children, for you to do your bit too. What did you do once you knew? Please join us, look at the targets, and uh, show everybody what we can do. Please have a look at the Fair Lifestyle targets and adopt them yourselves. It's really important that academics show some leadership in this planetary emergency, and that starts with our own behaviour. Thank you.